everybody. Um, I'm here today to work on my um, Show Us Your Media Challenge um, for this month with uh, Dina Wakely and Ranger. And this month's prompt, we're in month 16 of this, so um, I don't think I've missed a month yet. I might have. Um, no, I'm pretty sure I have not missed a month of this. Um, it's one of my favorite challenges. Uh, Dina is one of my favorite artists. Uh, I love her supplies so much. Um, I've kind of surrounded myself in some of my favorite stuff. Her, uh, I have both sets of the scribble sticks. <clears throat> and I have some paints. I have some paints going on. I have some collage papers and some washi and, uh, some stamped out images. So, uh, it's been a while since I've done a Dina page. And so, um... I'm going to be working on this today and uh, we'll kind of just see how it goes. I don't really have any real plan or anything. Um, this month's prompt is uh, what have you learned from your hardships? How have they changed you? Have they made you better? Explore this theme in your work this month. So that's what this page is going to be about. Um, and I'm just basically going to do what I normally do and maybe talk you through some of it. But most of it's going to be like self-explanatory. Um... I just chitter chatter like I normally do. Today is my um, today's my Saturday, so I have Sundays and Mondays off. And my um, husband has usually opposite days off of me, forever, all the time. He works in the grocery business, and his schedule is prone to change from week to week. Um, he doesn't get regular days off. I get regular days off at my job. It's basically set in stone. I have a set schedule and everything. So my typical Sunday is um, usually sleeping in because I'm a sleeper in the mornings. I hate mornings. <laughs> and then I'll get up and uh, make coffee, do dishes, do a couple of things around the house and uh, then start thinking about how, you know, what I want to create, what I want to work on for the day. Um, I have a lot of chores to do, <laughs> but you know, balance, right? Got to get some art in with the chores as, as best as I can. I actually um, want to, I need to work on organizing my art room today. Um, if you've seen any of my other videos or have seen any of my posts on Instagram about it, um, we have a spare room that I lost uh, access to earlier this year. We had moved um, a bunch of stuff into the room for storage. And uh, I just recently got that stuff moved out of this room. Um, so for about eight months, I was um, not able to use this room and, you know, I was pulling stuff out of it um, as I could uh, and basically arting in the living room or arting sometimes in the backyard, like wherever I can find space. So I finally have my room back and um, I need to organize it and clean it because it's like an art NATO in here. <laughs> Um, you know, and I got to go through stuff. There's some stuff that I know, like I might want to get, get rid of that, um, either, you know, I have a pretty good idea sometimes, like when it comes to stuff that like, I'm never going to use. So I have a few things just around that I know I'm never going to use that I'm going to see if I can find somebody to, uh, give them to that might use them and then just get, uh, get a little more organized. I mean, obviously October is a super busy month. I'm doing Inktober and I'm doing a lot of like Halloween related things. Um, some mixed media things that I have planned. And so um, it all takes a lot of time, but I want to make sure that once this uh, month is over that I am just a little bit organized and a little bit ready for when, um, for when this month is over so I can switch over to, um, what am I trying to say? Christmas stuff. Duh. Because I'm hopefully going to make Christmas cards this year. I have for the past two years. I've made anywhere from, you know, 40 to 60 Christmas cards to send out <clears throat> to all my family and friends and stuff. So, you know, I haven't made any cards this year just because of the um, room stuff. But I think I'm definitely going to want to do Christmas cards at least. Um, so I think I'm going to pause this for a second and dry it because uh, it's paint is really white. I like working with wet paint to a certain degree, but I'm wanting to add tape now, so I'm going to go ahead and give that a dry uh, with my heat tool, and then I will be back. Alright, so I dried the uh, paint a little bit. It's a little bit wet-ish, but not like it was before. Um, 
I forgot to mention which uh, paint colors I was using. I have Sky Blushing and Eggplant so far. Um, I don't know if I'm going to incorporate any colors. It's really still too early to tell. And then um, this is something I haven't really tried in this particular journal. This is the Dina Wakely Original um, Media Journal, which I love and I've been working on, working in for over a year. And um, I stopped this year again because I lost my space. Um, I'll give that... That'll give you an idea of like how far I've come. I still have a couple pages left in the signature, and then I have one uh, one more signature to finish, and I'll be finished with the book. So hopefully, now that I have my space back, um, I will potentially be able to art journal a lot more. So the thing with it is, um, when I don't have a lot of spaces, like I tend to get messy and spread out, you know, because there's so many products I incorporate and stuff like that. Anyways, and I forgot to mention too, this is the first time that I'm blocking out a border in this journal. Um, I think I missed some paint right there. But um, anyway, so all of this other tape is going to come off is my point. And um, here I'm just going to go in and put washi, you know, some of my favorite washies just in random places. Um, and just start layering and start building. I still don't really have an idea of exactly, you know, where this is going, but, you know, you're going to find out when I do, I suppose. So, yeah. So, today is full of uh, organizing, playing with art, maybe getting another video out. We'll see. I don't know if I'm going to get this up today. It's a lot of work, kind of, to, uh, to create these videos and edit the editing part the transferring of file part is probably the worst because there's a lot there's a long wait for that and um, and then if any editing needs to happen you know my goal is to do as little editing as possible honestly so I think I'm gonna start just throwing down some um, collage papers which I love so much I'm going to um, use this, I have this Liquitex matte medium, uh, it's getting really low, but you know, it works really good for this type of stuff, collage papers, it dries clear, it dries, dries matte, it's a matte medium, so, you know, unless you're going for the glossy effect, I know that you don't always want that glossiness that happens, depending on what kind of glue you're using or whatnot, so anyways, as you can see, I'm just, you know, spreading it around. I don't know what else I might want to stick after this, so I'm just making sure that I have a lot of um a lot cover a lot of coverage. So then I can just stick down whatever, you know, whatever's nearby, whatever kind of feels good to stick down at the time. Feels good to stick things down. <laughs> it's one of my favorite things. Gluing paper to paper, gluing things to things. I love it. So yeah, I'm gonna get some of this stuff, these little butterflies. And probably just kind of collage with these papers. I might add in some more um, acrylic here and there um, to kind of like really try to pull everything together like it's all part of uh, one piece. I mean, obviously it's one piece. You know what I mean. So that. And sometimes, you know, when I'm doing this whole sticking down um, stuff, if a corner is coming up here or there, I don't always uh, mind that. I don't mind if it looks a little bit like raggedy on edges and stuff. I kind of like it. So yeah. And I'll probably um, layer some other washi tapes as well. With this. How cute are these? I love this collage paper. And I should have, you know, enough glue down at this point where, like I said, that's why I like to put extra down just because I can just kind of keep sticking things down and not have to stop and keep applying more uh, medium. And then the other thing too, which is cool to think about is uh, if you have extra medium down, um, it's going to help your washi stick a lot better. I mean, it's already pretty, pretty sticky washi. It's like it, it, it adheres pretty well, 
but I do have a problem sometimes in um, these mixed media pages of this washi just kind of coming up in places. So that extra glue uh, will totally help with that. So yeah, let's talk about the theme for a second. Um, what have you learned from hardships? Jeez. It's a loaded question. <laughs> I definitely think, um, you know, I'm going to try to roll all of, it, all of this entire theme into one. It's like, uh, how have it, how have your hardships changed you? Um, what have you learned? Do you think you're a better person because of them? I've learned so much through hardships. Obviously, I think that we all do. I hope we all do. Um, sometimes we have to repeat hardships in order to really learn. Um, learn who you are. Learn where your boundaries are. Learn what kind of person you are and how you, you know, react to the world and how you treat yourself. This is all, all goes along in it, I feel like. Um, it's really easy to think, you know, if bad things have happened to you or if you had a hard childhood or you've been through some really difficult things, I mean, it changes you as a person. All of those things that lead up to where we are today just really changes you, the good and the bad. And I've thought a lot about this. Um, I'm 38 years old, almost 38. I'll be 38 this year. I feel like I'm already 40. <laughs> um, and you know, I've been through a lot. That's a lot of years to live, to go, you know, to realize the things that you've been through and the journey that you've been on and the relationships that you have formed or lost or, you know, whatever in your life. Um, heck yeah, I learned from hardships. I think that um, there are some things that are so awful that you wish had never happened, of course. Um, but I've tried to realize over the years, you know, um, there, I mean, it seems like it's obvious, but it's really not, you know, it's like not to focus, try not to focus on things that you can't control. And sometimes we have to learn how to accept even the worst of things, the worst of things. You know, so I do think it's made me a better person. I feel like through hardships comes, you know, understanding. And I think it's allowed me um, to learn more about empathy towards other people. Um, I mean, the hardships have hardened me to a certain degree, but not so much that, you know, I don't understand the need for kindness and acceptance and... Um, you know, to, to be kind to people and to, you know, take care of yourself and things like that. Like, I feel like once, you know, we get a grasp on that, be kind to yourself, be kind to others, then you're going to have an easier time. I mean, obviously bad stuff is always going to happen and there's just nothing that we're ever going to be able to do about that, but it comes with it, you know? This whole life thing. I try not to think about, you know, if I can go back and tell 16-year-old 16, 16 me something. <laughs> like, if I knew then what I know now, that's the trick of it, right? I think about this pretty pretty often. Look at how cute this is. It's just a total collage mismatch of just colors and images. I love this so much. And so now I think I'm going to go in again with um, some colors, some paints. Just a little bit, though. And I'm just going to spread it with my finger. And I'm hoping that this kind of, um, you know, oops. <laughs> Don't knock over the camera. Um, I think it's going to help, you know, make everything kind of blend in a little bit together. Like, make it look like it's all, you know, like one piece instead of like just a various bunch of pieces. Let's see. I'm still trying to figure out what I want to use on my um, as my focal point. I have some collage faces, and I have some cutout stamp um, pieces, and a couple of cutout um, words and stuff. So um, I think I found the perfect sentiment already though. I think I'm going to use this. Um, we all have a story to tell stamp that I've cut out. I stamped it out and cut it out on a cardstock paper. 
So, which I love doing too, by the way. Sit and have a major stamping session with your, um, with your stamps and just stamp out like a bunch and uh, have it ready to cut out and use in your journal pages or your mixed media projects. Um, I seriously need to put aside some time to, you know, do that because I'm running low. <laughs> and you know, usually like the thing is, is having them ready ahead of time, I love because when I'm in the zone and I'm like doing this, I don't wanna stop and have to, you know, go through my stamps and figure out what stamp I wanna use and um, get out the ink. You know, it's like a whole nother level of like what you have to do in order to do it. I can still do it, obviously, but I like to just have some already cut, like ready to go, either stamped out or even cut out and ready to go. It just makes it a lot easier. So, you know what I was thinking? I'm just going to rub this a little bit with a paper towel. It makes this beautiful purple. I love it. No, and that is messy. Oopsie. Oopsie. There it goes coming up just a little bit. I'll get a little bit of glue down there and see if that helps. If I can get it out. Hello. I just want a tiny bit. All right. I was thinking about incorporating a stencil, but I don't know if I want to. I might not. It is pretty cool, though, yeah? I was thinking about... I don't think I have it in here. I was going to maybe throw some white gesso down and kind of blend that in to kind of make everything co cohes a little bit better, but cohes, is that a word? Cohesion. Let's turn it into a verb. <laughs> Let's see what I have over here. I don't think I don't. I don't have it. Okay, I'm going to go get my gesso real quick and maybe a brayer or something and I will be right back. Alright, I'm back. I um I have no idea where my brayer is right now. <laughs> Seriously, I need to go through this room and just straighten it up. It's amazing that I'm able to even like work on my desk right now. I'm so proud of that. So I think I'm just gonna um just drop a few drops. Gotta be careful because it comes out so fast. Um and then I'm gonna get a um I don't want I don't want too much I don't want to like cover up the whole thing but um then I'm gonna get a palette knife and I'm just gonna you know spread it around just a little bit and it'll make some of the stuff just kind of push it a little bit farther back into the background see I still feel like that's probably too much I feel like I covered up the whole thing okay let me um let me blot some of this up with a paper towel. <laughs> it's turning into a big mess. Sometimes this happens. You know? Now I've really made that background like a true blue background. Because everything's just really pushed back there. It might come out good. Sometimes, you know, you don't really see how it's going to come together until the very, very end. I like it. I like it. This is the watercolor paper in uh, Dina's um, journal. I like it too. All right. What about this? I love it. I think I'm just going to throw it down. I mean, oh, I don't know, guys. This stuff is almost out. Oops, okay. I don't know, guys. We'll see. I'm just gonna do it. Just do it. All right. So yeah, you know, I love these faces, Dina's faces, and I try to, uh, I'm gonna add a little bit of water. I have my water bowl right here. And sometimes when I'm working with these collage sheets, I like to add some more uh, liquid to get it to kind of flatten out. See how easily it creases and stuff. So, so yeah. Um, let's see here. 
I don't know. I think I might just keep it super simple and keep that there. I might add some more. Um, you know what I'm going to do is I'm going to add some more tape. Maybe I should use the tape that I've already used. So, like, you'll see the tape in the background, and then you'll also see it, like, right on top. Like, it'll be like, yo, here I am. I like it. Let's see if I can get that a little straighter. I was like, when I first started out, you know, um, with just doing art and creating and stuff, I never ever like really saw myself as a big washy girl. <laughs> uh, that's stupid, right? Because now, I mean, I still, I see people who have like hundreds and hundreds and maybe even thousands of um, rolls of washi, which I think that's crazy. Like, but if I'm not careful, like I would, I would do a very similar thing. <laughs> So I don't buy washi too often. Um, there's, I like when Michaels is having a sale on like their washi, like 50% off or something like that. And uh, I'll get some rolls of like the recollections for really, you know, an inexpensive price, which is nice to um, just add to your stash. But, um, and the Dina stuff I love, the Ranger stuff I generally love. <coughs> but, um, excuse me. But yeah, I don't normally buy too much washi. Um, I have right now, I'm keeping the washi that I do have in a shoebox. And I'm thinking that um, I'm not allowed to have more than what can fit in that shoebox. And I think that's a pretty good rule. But uh, Dina's, Dina just released more tape. <laughs> so I need it, right? It's so colorful and beautiful and awesome. So... Um, so yeah, you know, I'll add to my collection here and there once in a while, but honestly, I'm really, really try to be careful to not, not go too crazy. Would it be weird if I added this and this? I don't know. What if I added like a couple? What if I added this? Because it will kind of coincide with some of the little bodies in the background from the collage paper. Yeah, let's do that. That looks pretty good. All right. <coughs> Excuse me, I keep um, coughing. I hope I'm not getting sick. A lot of people around me are starting to get sick. <laughs> like really bad cold, sneezing and coughing. at a coworker last week who came in and like almost right away was like, uh, you sound like you're sick, get out. Please leave. <laughs> She's like, no, I think I might have allergies. I was like, no, I think you sound sick. <laughs> so um, she ended up going home and it turned out she she was getting sick. She was getting super sick. And I was like, oh my God, poor thing. But also I don't want to catch it. <laughs> so yeah, <laughs> it's the season, right? I'm going to add a little bit more here. Try not to knock around the camera too much or stick this bottle of matte in your face for so long. Sorry about that. <laughs> I love it. So, um, yeah, I'm gonna wait for this to dry. I might outline a couple of these things and, um, and, uh, take the tape off and stuff and that'll be it. Um, I'll post the finished page on my Instagram. And uh, thanks for watching. Hope you liked it. Bye, guys.